In this video, we're going to take a look at how you install something called Linux Development Environment so that you can run Linux from within Chrome OS. However, before we start, we recommend that you check the specs on your Chromebook, as not all Chromebooks are able to run LDE. If from the desktop of Chrome OS we select System Tray, and then from the menu choose Settings, Within Settings, we need to locate and select Advanced, and then choose Developers. In the Developers panel, we will find three options. However, we're only interested in one option, so let's enable Linux Development Environment. As LDE is really just a Linux virtual machine, we're now presented with a wizard that will help us to set up that virtual machine. Let's select Next. We now need to create our Linux development environment. As we want our username to be more distinct and identifiable, we're going to change the username that Linux will use. We now need to set the amount of space that Linux will be allowed to use on our Chromebook's hard drive. For now, we will leave this setting on its default but this size can be adjusted at a later date if needed. When we select Install, our virtual machine is created and an instance of Linux is installed onto our Chromebook. How long it takes to install Linux will be dependent on the speed of your internet connection. However, it took us roughly three minutes to install Linux onto our Chromebook. We will know that Linux has been installed because we will be presented with a terminal window. It will be from within the terminal window that we type commands that will allow us to install Linux applications onto our Chromebook. As we will be looking to install applications onto our Chromebook in future videos, for now, let's take a quick look at the options available in LDE. First, we're going to pin the Linux terminal icon to the Chrome OS desktop, as this will make it easier to find and load the terminal window. As a terminal session is currently open, let's close this session. To do this, we simply need to type exit. Then when we press enter on our keyboard, we're presented with the LDE menu. At the top of this menu, we have the name of the operating system that we're using, and a link back to the developer's settings. As we now have LDE enabled, if we select Linux Development Environment, we're presented with a number of options. Manage Shared Folders is a way that we can set up folders that both Linux and Chrome OS can see in order to share files. As we will be looking at creating shared folders in a future video, for now, let's take a look at the next option, which is Manage USB Devices. As Linux will be sharing our Chromebook's USB ports, we need a way for Linux to be able to see and access a USB device. So we can use Manage USB Devices to control what USB devices Linux can see. Backup and Restore, as the name suggests, basically allows us to back up and restore the virtual machine that we've created with LDE. Port forwarding will allow us to configure our Chromebook so that it will push specific types of traffic directly to our instance of Linux. This option might be useful if you're running a Linux application that needs to be accessible from devices on your network or devices on the internet. Disk size is how we can increase the amount of storage that we can give to our Linux virtual machine. As you can see, we have a sliding bar which will allow us to resize the amount of space that Linux can use. By enabling the option Allow Linux to access your microphone, we will allow Linux applications to use the microphone in our Chromebook. However, if we enable this option, we will first need to shut down our instance of Linux. The final option is to remove Linux Development Environment, which we will be looking at in a future video. Let's return to the LDE menu. 
SSH is simply a protocol that allows us to create a secure tunnel from another computer to the instance of Linux that we've installed onto our Chromebook. However, for security reasons, unless we intend to use SSH, we should not enable this option. Terminal settings allows us to control elements of the terminal. This includes its appearance, how the keyboard and mouse work, its behavior, SSH, and information about LDE. Developer settings is simply another way to access the developer's options that can be found in settings. Finally, let's take a look at how we start Linux. If we close the LDE menu, and then select the Linux icon from the docking Chrome OS, the LDE menu will open. Now from within the menu, if we select Penguin, we will open a terminal session ready for us to input the commands that we need to execute in order to install the applications that we wish to run. So in future videos, we will be taking a look at how we install some of the more popular Linux applications onto our Google Chromebook.